Hello. We've been slowly building this theme using uh, it's built on the Genesis framework, but we've been using some software called Dynamic Website Builder. So to do this you need Genesis framework and Dynamic Website Builder. This is what we've got so far. We've styled uh, uh, nav bar, sidebars, things like that. What I want to do now is to change the front page to a magazine style home page. So let's have a look. We need to go to Genesis, Dynamic Design and this EZ button here. Now this is the type of thing I'm thinking about. If you've seen these type of layouts in different Genesis themes this is the sort of thing we're going to build. So what we need to do. First of all we need to choose that we're in Genesis Dynamic Design EZ and we need to choose Static Home Page and I'm going to have 2 plus 2, that's 4 boxes on the home page, there's loads of different choices, I'm just choosing this 2 plus 2 because it suits the uh, the layout I want to do. And now what I want to do is add a static home page sidebar and a home page slider. What else do I want to do? I want to add um, a thing called a fat footer which is just some boxes in the um, in the footer area and I want to put them um, yeah the addition choices here I'm going to choose fat footer wide right so it'll be a, a wide box and a narrow box now I've not styled it at all but I'll just show you what what we're doing and then I'll give you a better idea so this is how we had the front page before and this is how it's changed now it's a different sidebar so we've got to add content to that sidebar separately um, and this is the sort of layout we've got. We've got one, two, three, four boxes, and then in the bottom we've got a, a narrow box and a wide box. So what we need to do now is first we'll style the boxes, then we'll put content inside the boxes. So I made some slides. This is what we're doing. We went to Genesis Dynamic Design Easy, and these are the changes we're going to make. I've already clicked Static Home Page, and I've selected that two plus two. We need to change the color of the easy widget heading font so I want the back uh, the um, the font color to be this 60 70 30 so we'll change that um, heading font I'm going to change that to 6 C 70 30 you could just pick it from the uh, the thing here if you wanted right We'll save it. Let's we'll see what else we wanted to change. We need to change easy widget. Oh, these two. I've activated those two. Uh, that's the home page sidebar and the home page slider. We've got to put the slider in. You, you do it with widget areas. They're all widget areas. These. Um, so you, although I've activated the slider, I haven't put the slider code into a widget area yet. So, there's some more settings we need. I'm going to set the fat footer. So, I want to display locations only on the home page. I want to do that. And I want it outside the inner div so it spans the uh, the full width, which we've already set those two up. Um, and I've chosen that uh, two, oh, two boxes with the uh, wide and narrow. Now, I want to change the container wrap background to this color here. So we'll do that. Oh, and I want to change the border bottom for the heading to be that colour. So go down to fat footer, fat footer, um, con widget content font. Nope. That footer background. This is the one. Um, what was the colour? There we go. Change that one there, and then I think this heading border. That's it. I think that was six C seventy oh, thirty, I do believe. So we'll save our changes and see if we've styled anything. We've styled these here, change the colour, we've changed the colour of this background, 
I want to change, I want to put a box behind this, a bit like that there. So let's have a see. What we're going to have to do, we're going to have to, you see these here, like um, heading fonts. Some things, what you need to do, you need to add custom CSS. So find the thing you want to change. This is a widget heading fonts, and I want to change the background color and put a little border above and below these. So you can either type your own code in there. If you know the code, you can just type it in by hand. But what you can also do is build code using this CSS builder. Top of the page there, CSS builder. And you can choose things. Now what I was going to do, let's have a look. I want padding left 10 pixels and we want this background color. Um, so let's, in this bit, box here, what we're going to use, we want a uh, font, I want a padding left of 10 pixels. So I just choose the setting, put it in there. I want a background color, like that. So choose what I want, click to insert it. Um, I want to want a border top and bottom of, I think it was two pixels. I think that one is this, uh, that one I think. Anyway, we'll try it. <laughs> we'll try it and see how it goes on. What else did we have? I want a border top and bottom. What did we have? Border. What we'll do? Nope, oh, wrong button there. Border. We're going to choose well top first, and then we'll have bottom. So we've added padding of ten pixels on the left. We've changed the background color. We've added a top and bottom border, and that's the color. So click this to highlight the code. We're going to cut that code and paste it in down here um, in this box. Right, so we, we've made the right code we need and we've pasted it into Fat Footer Widget Heading Fonts. So the heading font will now have this extra style applied. Click Save Changes. close the box and if you I don't know if you can tell but it's slightly darker color whenever you've added custom code to one of these boxes it goes a slightly darker color so you can tell there's some code inside it so let's see what we've got so far ah, we've styled the footer um, we also want to style these here so oh there, there. easy fonts these are the ones we're looking for. We need to choose the. We'll add the same code in here because we want basically we want it to look the same. And that's our easy home widget heading fonts. So these are just the ordinary widget headings on this area here. There we go. So we've got that code there. And we've got the same code in the bottom there. Now, what I want to do now is to actually add the the content into these boxes. We've styled it fairly much how we want it. We need to add the content in the boxes. And to do that, we need to drag widgets into widget areas. So if you, if you understand WordPress, you're probably very well aware of what widgets are. So we've got to appearance, widgets, and what's happened, if you see this widget home top one, home top two, home bottom one, home bottom two, when I, when I chose the, um, these options, this, when I added this, it added new widget areas that weren't there before. So now we're gonna drag stuff into those widget areas. And what I've used is Genesis featured posts widgets and so you just open the box you want to use uh, easy home top or to do first we will add this slider there easy home slider that's a, one of the boxes we added so we need to add the slider 
and I've already made a slide. Um, th th this video is not about making widgets and widget air. Well, it's not about making widgets, setting up widgets. Um, so I've actually set up the the widgets. But what I've used is a Nevo slider, and I've set up a slider, which is this one. So I'll drag that one into the slider box, which is that one. And then we'll go see if it's there. There's a the slider. So now we need to add the others. I'll just show you how to do it. And then, so what you would do, you would drag a featured post into a featured post widget into the box, and you configure the settings. You have all different settings to configure here. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just I'll add them. And uh, all you do is just drag them into the boxes. So I'm going to add this one in the top one there, and we'll see if anything's changed. So that's the first widget in the widget area. I'll just add the others and then we'll come back and have a see. Right, what I've done, I've dragged the widgets into the widget areas and that's put different content into these different boxes. And you, you need to know how widgets and widget areas work. I've made a previous video about that, but it lasted about 15 minutes. Um, but that's all you need to do. You need to work out or find out how to put widgets into widget areas. And this is these are, if you go to appearance widgets, these are available widgets, widgets that you can drag into a widget area. Um, so let's see how far we've got so far. Well, that's more or less it for, for how you set the front page up. We'll just go through the slides and it'll give you an idea of what um, what you do. I'll go back to the beginning. Right. First of all, what you've got to do, go to Dynamic Design or Genesis Dynamic Design Easy. And remember, you need both Genesis Framework and Dynamic Website Builder software to go to, to, to do this. It, it's not this is not part of Genesis. It's an extra an extra thing. So once you've gone to Genesis Dynamic Design Easy, and we've chosen to use a static home page, then we've set the home page structure, which is the sort of boxes we wanted. We've changed the color of the heading fonts, and I added some custom code. Um, and we activated the home page sidebar and the home page slider. Then I wanted to change the fat footer settings, so I scrolled down the dynamic design easy page. I scrolled down and I clicked the box to add the fat footer. Um, I put it outside the inner div, and that means it, it sort of stretches the full width of the page. And I chose a, a style or a, a type, which was two boxes, one wide and one narrow. I changed the background color of the footer and I added a border. Right, let's see what's next. To, to add the content to these boxes, once you've made the boxes, you've got to put content inside them. And I used a Genesis featured post widgets and I drag them into the different boxes. So you've got to configure the widgets once you've um, once you've set up the home page. You've got to add the widgets to the widget areas. And then I added some custom code. Now you can also add um, any custom code you want to. But if you go to Genesis Dynamic Custom, there's loads more options. This is this op opens up a whole new uh, ball game to you. There's there's loads more stuff you can do here. But if you go to Genesis Dynamic Design, Dynamic Design, uh, Dynamic Custom, click the CSS tab. You can type any CSS you want in there. I just changed the color of the uh, this this little border around. The Nebo slider has this little border, and it was pretty dark gray, and I wanted it to be green. So I just added some code to make the border a different color. But you can also add functions, or if you know what PHP functions are, JavaScript. You can build your own WordPress temp, well, w Genesis templates in here. Um, labels and conditionals are similar to each other. If you know what is front page or is single, things like that. Um, these are conditionals. You can build conditionals. You can build widget areas and hook boxes really easy. But that's for another day. What we've got to so far. We built this theme more or less from you know start to finish, and this is what it looks like. 
And when you get used to using this software, you can do things like this remarkably quickly. I think it's fantastic. I used to, I used to do this by hand and it takes ages. With this, you get a really good uh, finished product in a really short time. It's it, I, I was flabbergasted when I saw how good this was. And this is just scratching the surface. What we've done so far in this little set, we've done about four or five videos to get to this point. Um, and it is, I think it's incredible what it does. Anyway, I shall leave it there. I do hope you've enjoyed the videos and uh, pop back to see some more. Thanks for watching and bye for now.